What's up everybody, Zulu here. It's the night of Tuesday, May 12th, I believe it is. Had a really fun night tonight. I got some decent stuff out of boxes. Uh, the, I think the highlight was I got a 475 motorcycle trinket from Nekagon that, for my shaman with a socket. Uh, so that might be fun to mess around with sometime in the future. Right now, I think I'm not going to be playing the shaman too much but from an enhancement perspective and when I gear some other characters out maybe it might be fun just to screw around in battlegrounds or arenas and see how much that thing really does but uh, today I really focused on my priest I spent some time in battlegrounds for fun just to see what it's like and actually had a blast uh, so I think I've settled into the two characters I really want to play the most and that's my mage and my priest which brings me right back to where I was in legion after all this time of playing characters that fit a mold or playing characters that we needed for our group and doing that for the better part of basically almost all of Legion or not all of Legion, almost all of Battle for Azeroth I'm now settling into playing characters that both feel super fun and natural and are also the exact same classes I was playing before so I think that tells me something about myself I think that tells me something I should take to heart I think this lesson applies to almost anything in life you know, it's it could be you have a job that you you know your parents told you you should have to pay for a lifestyle that you don't really need it could be you know that car that you bought that is something that's not necessary but it's something that you know fits what your girlfriend wants or something so there's just so many times in life where you got to listen to yourself and just take a step back take a breather and then see what comes to you first see what you spend time on i think a while back i thought i wanted to go to school to study something in particular i think i was looking at game design um, but I ended up, or just design in general, uh, and I ended up thinking, you know, the task that I gave myself, you know, or that my career coach gave me was to research all the programs I was interested in and go find different programs. And what I found is that I only actually spent time on one of them. I spent almost all of my research time, like full three hours, looking at one school's or two school's programs. And I came back and I felt kind of bad. I told my, you know, the counselor, I was like, look, I'm not sure, like I didn't really finish the assignment. And she said, well, how much time did you spend? And I told her and she said, well, that's actually a great point and that tells you something about yourself, right? If you had been indecisive or really curious about a bunch of different places, but then you would have done a bunch of different things, which is kind of illustrative of all the characters that I've played. But now I've played all these different characters, but what I really, which character do I find myself spending time on when I'm by myself and left to my own devices? And that really is mage and priest. So that's exciting, it's fun, I had a blast. I'm looking forward to PvPing more. Battlegrounds are just a lot of fun. Um, there's no real mm, benefit, I guess, to doing it other than my own amusement. Like they don't give me gear that I need or anything like that. So, but it'll help me get the get comfortable on the priest so that I can hopefully raid on the priest this weekend and get some gear out of Heroic uh, to get her ready for keys and for arenas potentially. So. Yeah, a little nugget of wisdom in there about listening to yourself and seeing what's the first thing that comes to mind for you, what's the first thing you always grab to do when you're feeling motivated or feeling like you're looking for a way to keep yourself entertained, and that's probably a good sign as to what you should be spending more time doing. So on that note, thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow.